Demetrio, buddy, I'll pad your surgery go. Sorry to hear that, buddy. Did they use desflorane? That's a good question. No, they didn't. Well, there's your problem. Wait. What is de... De... Desflorane! Yeah, that's the one. Here, try some. Wow, how long was I out for? Oh, that's not important. Yes, thanks for the kidney. That's cool, how does it work? Dimitri, we put a man on the moon. We've created the atomic bomb. And you want to know about Dennis Florian? Yeah. Neither Dimitri, Ernest, nor science knows how anesthetics work on the human body. <laughs>so i uh, i hear your uh, your girlfriend got hit by a truck last week let's not get into that what we should get into is the commercial for des florane yeah <laughs> hi my name is john and i'm a doctor you're not yes i'm a doctor all right doctor shall we tell the fine citizens of canada about des florane i think we should seeing as uh, we're trying to sell this fine product hmm one two 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 tetrafluoroethyl difluoromethyl ether, otherwise known as desflurane. It is made by reacting isoflurane and hydrogen fluoride in the presence of antimony pentafluoride. Isoflurane is synthesized from 222 trifluoroethanol, which is methylated by dimethyl sulfate, yielding a methyl ether, which then undergoes chlorination, yielding a dichloro methoxy 111 trifluoroethane which then react with hydrogen fluoride in the presence of antimony chloride. The chlorines on the ether are replaced by fluorine. The ether undergoes another chlorination, making it isofluorine. Because I'm a doctor, I'm going to be talking about the physical and chemical properties of desflurane for the good people who want to buy our product. It's a colorless, non-flammable, volatile liquid it reacts in the presence of CO2 to form carbon so monoxide, hot. which is dangerous, kind of toxic, right? Uh, and it degrades with soda lime to make fluoroform. Kind of like chloroform, but fluoroform. Its boiling point is 23.5 degrees Celsius, making it easily vaporized, so easy to that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it has a density of 1.465 grams per centimeters three cubed. Cubed. Thank you, Jake. That's why I'm here. Now, John, why should we be using desflurane? That's a great question, Jake. And I get that a lot right before I'm about to perform a surgery on someone, cutting them open. You know, these people are wondering. Uh, and the reason it's such a great general anesthetic is because it has such a low outpatient and inpatient rate, which is basically the rate at which someone succumbs to the gas and the rate at which someone can wake up and be ready to operate machinery again after being gassed. Operate <laughs> machinery? <laughs> Having a low outpatient and inpatient rate makes the gas more efficient so more people can come and go us hospitals make more money. Add to that the fact that surgeries without anesthetics are painfully challenging. Are you ready, sir? I'm really uncomfortable with this. Well, here we go. Ah, 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 ah. This fluorine can be used for pediatric surgeries, cardiovascular surgeries, and even neurosurgeries. In each case, uh, you vaporize the liquid in a special chamber and then the vapor is then uh, put into a little mask which the patient breathes in and they remain asleep for the amount of time that they're breathing that in. Don't give it to your pets, you will die. They will all. Yeah. Good old Fido. Fido's, Fido's gone. It's a better place. Please tell us about the risks. 
Yes, the direct risks of anesthetics include a raised heart rate, airway irritability, and if administered incorrectly, it can cause prolonged anesthesia, which can lead to a coma. The indirect risks of uh, desflurane are the global warming potential. One ton of desflurane is equal to 3,714 tons of carbon dioxide. That's a lot. Quite a bit. Desflurane also has 26.8 times the global warming potential of any other anesthetic. Wow. So in your opinion, is it even worth having desflurane as, as a general anesthetic? I think so, John. The benefits of desflurane far outweigh the risks and possible maltraits, including the thousands of lives it has saved. So Jake, Jakey Jake, if you were handling desflurane, what would you want to do? If chemical comes into contact with skin, flush skin with water and remove clothing. Seek medical attention if irritation begins. If ingested, do not induce vomiting. Oh. Wow, goosebumps. I know. Are there any other compounds like desflurane? Yeah, there's sevoflurin, nitrogen oxide, and isoflurin. That sounds pretty cool. No. <sighs> what the matter, babe? <laughs> I just had a terrible dream. I see fire burning in the my trees. I see fire burning in All right. Here. Hello. Welcome. So, just to conclude, uh, and if it was not made clear during our movie, we are in full support of the continued use of desflurane as a general anesthetic. Uh, yeah, due to its high onset and offset rate and its low solubility in the blood and tissues of the human body, it's a highly effective at what it's tasked to do. Um, and in addition, it, it's, it has a low potency, which means that it, you need more of the gas to knock someone out or keep someone knocked out. But uh, this is actually a... Good thing. Yeah, a good thing. And uh, this makes it easier to control and to maintain the levels needed to keep someone in that state. Yeah. Uh, something also to mention is the fact that we portrayed the drug actually causing someone to become unconscious, and that's not true. It's used more, it's not a primary anesthetic. It's used more as a secondary or... Um, it, a secondary. A secondary one. It's, it's used like, to maintain yeah. the unconscious state. When, after someone's knocked out, by a primary anesthetic such as nitrous oxide or something. Something like it's that. It's just better as this maintenance role. Right. Yeah. Um, so, like we mentioned in the video, it has a high global warming potential. It's pretty bad for the environment. Um, and it's also very um, expensive. So those are two negatives, but at the same time, it's the best in its field. And there's always going to be, especially a cost negative to that. Um, so it, despite those, we still believe that it's so efficient at its task that it needs to be continuously implemented in modern medicine. And keep in mind it's one of the most recent anesthetics on the market, so it's only going to get better and, and new uh, technologies are going to come across. The one reason why it's so expensive is because it needs to be vaporized. It's not a gas. It's not a gas. So you need to have a special vaporizer along with the uh, chemical. But once technologies advance, It'll only get better, and as technologies advance to get rid of the greenhouse emissions caused by making desflurane into a gas, um, something to maybe filter it out after it's been used, something like that, it, I mean, things are only going to get better. Yeah, there's me. a lot of potential for this drug in the future. The side effects of this drug include headache, coughing, and nausea, which seem pretty bad, but all general anesthetics beat you up. Um, they're not good for your body. It, it, in a general, these are very minimal side effects. Yeah, this is the best you're going to get, best case scenario. Um, so those are all the reasons why we believe that desflurane is the best for the job and why it should be continuously used. Thanks for time. Thank you. Love you.